next what we want to do assume we want to analyze what all is happening in this graph so it's not actually possible to analyze it very nicely by visualizing the graph and looking it as a figure every time so some nicely written functions can help us in the analysis of this graph so for that what we will do is first of all we'll store what is whatever is happening in this graph as different snapshots so we'll have different network stored for different different snapshots next we'll look at these networks one by one and look at how this network is changing over time so what we do here is along with visualizing g we try to store this network so we call a function here let's say store g and this store g takes a time value with itself let's say it's t mm, or let's say the time value is i so initially this i is 0 when nothing is done so we call store g comma i and uh, or, uh, a better option is uh, when we visualize this graph that time only we can store this network so what do we do is so for the very first so for outside the loop we store it manually so for storing it we use we store it in a gml format so for storing it in a gml format we use the function and next dot write gml as you know we have done it before and next dot write gml g and let's say the file name is again evolution underscore zero dot gml so this is a first file name next when the time runs from 0 to 10 what we are doing is we are calling these three functions and we are visualizing this network so let's pass the value t plus 1 here so why t plus 1 t was here t starts from 0 but we want the indices of this network from 1 so that is evolution 1 dot gml evolution 2 dot gml so we have here visualize g comma t plus 1 and actually we should be doing it here also because the format of the function is same so we need to pass the same parameters here so let's first have t equals to 0 and then we call visualize g comma t you can actually comment it and then our t then we call visualize g comma t plus 1 and what happens here coming back to our visualization function so it, now it's taking an extra parameter which is the t at which time the graph is to be stored. So what we do here is to store the graph after doing all this we have a function here and next dot write gml and then we write this graph g as what should be its name. Its name should be evolution underscore and then we have this value of t here. So we do a string append operation and what do we append to this string is the value of t as a string. So it is evolution underscore 0 then evolution underscore 1 and then we append dot gml to it. So how this graph gets stored is g evolution underscore 0 dot gml evolution underscore 1 dot gml and so on. And then we'll be loading these graphs and we'll look at some properties of this evolution of this complete evolution okay so let's see let's try to run it so let's see how how these graphs gets generated here so let's call python evolutionary underscore model dot py and let's see what happens here so obviously as before this file evolution dot jpg is going to change with time it will keep changing so and if you see here okay let's just um, let's just close it so you see here that we have here these different gml files forming evolution 0.gml 1.gml 2.gml so we have done it over some 10 snapshots so you can do it over as many number of snapshots as you want so here we have 10 networks here uh, I don't say 10 networks it is the same network over 10 timestamps so it is my initial network then some homophily some closer etc are happening on this network and then we have these different gml files coming up here 
Now I want to analyze these files. Why I want to analyze how this, uh, how the change in this graph is happening. So to analyze this file, we create a new file and let's name it analyze.py. And what I want to do in analyze.py, say I want to analyze three things. I want to see how the number of obese people in the network change. Then I want to see how the number of edges between these obese people change. And then I want to look at the change in density on this network. Um, let's keep it simple for the timing. Let's just look at two things. Let's look at how the number of obese people change and how the density of these networks change. So we need to import network x as an x and we also need to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and next what we want to do is let's say our function is Let's have our function uh, plot density. So what plot, plot density does it? It plots how the density in our network is changing. So we define here plot underscore density. And what this function is going to do is. So we need to have. So you know that for plotting we need an x axis. We need a y axis. X axis here is the iterations. And y axis here is the density of these different different networks. So our x axis will be the iterations and our y axis will be the density. So what we do is we know that for i in range we have 10 snapshots. So if we take from range 0 to 11 we read a graph here. So what is our graph g equals to an x dot read gml and what is the file name? File name we know is evolution underscore and whatever is the value of i plus and we have here dot gml. So mainly we read this file and then we want to look at the density of this network. So what goes in the x axis x dot append. It's very simple so we append i here and what do we append in y is the density of this network so we have a direct function for density let's call that and next dot density g in y we append the density of this graph so we have an x axis we have an y axis and at the end we plot both of these so you can actually put the titles uh, for the plot plt dot x label and let's say it's the time and then we can have plt dot y label and let's have it as density and then we have a title for this plot call it change in density and then what we do is plt dot plot x comma y as we do and then we do a plt dot show so this is simple right we have these 10 gml graphs we read each of these gml graphs one by one look at their density and then we plot their density so let's execute it so so we have here python and we have analyze dot py So you can see here how the density of this graph is changing. So with time over 10 iterations, the density is increasing very fast. Note, we cannot say very fast. Density is increasing almost linearly. Okay. This is about the density of this network. More and more links are being formed because of homophily and because of all these three different kinds of closers. So you can actually see whatever you want, uh, whatever you want to see across this evolution with the by loading these graphs and looking at them uh, let's say uh, next i want to plot the obesity in this network and how do i plot the obesity by looking at the number of obese people in this network so we can write a similar code for this so we have define plot underscore obesity 
and actually it's going to be almost the same so let's just copy paste so we use copy paste again and again in computer science okay define plot note in computer science in coding uh, define plot underscore obesity and we have this till here it's perfect now the problem is only here y dot append we have appended here the density of graph g but what we want to append here is let's call a function obese and let's name this function as obesity so obesity is a function which will take as input your graph g and return you the number of obese people in this graph and we just remove the density here by obesity but yes we need to define this function obesity g so let's quickly define this function obesity g and it's very easy to find the number of obese people in this graph so let's say the number is 0 then for each in g dot nodes we see whether the node is obese or not and if the node is obese we increase num by 1 so for each in g dot nodes if g dot node each and we look at its name right if its name equals to equals to 40 that is if its bmi is 40 we increase num by 1 and then we return now so this is how it goes let's plot it and let's see it now okay so let's plot it and see it so here we have python analyze.py so this first plot here is for the change in density which we can see is increasing with time and now let's look at obesity how the number of obese people in this network increases so you can see here so it's a very interesting curve you can see that it increases that then it remains constant for some time it then increases then again remains constant for some time and so on we can actually see a lot of uh, the change in a lot of interesting parameters in this graph you can actually see how the um, number of membership closers is uh, changing in this graph you can look at the number of triads and a lot of other things so that's a little bit of more complicated coding but obviously fun to do so if you are interested in any of that coding you can try it yourself and leave your questions on discussion forum we'll be always happy to help you so i'll leave you here with these very two simple observations over this complete evolution and you can try your own coding and let us see if there is any problem so i hope you enjoyed this screencast